I know for a fact I'm not the first person to share this particular breaking news with you guys. I'm not the first. I heard it from three different people before I actually had a chance to really go through and dissect what's really going on, right? But before I watch anybody else's review or reaction, I wanted to give my own thoughts on this particular situation, not being you know, influenced by anybody else's thoughts. So if any of the thoughts that I place in this video seem to have similar talking points to somebody else, by all means, that just means we all have the same train of thought. But let's go ahead and lock in. Good time back again. Once again, let's lock in. Uh, shout out to the IPA. You already know who they are. Description area below for good docs, good books, merch, all that stuff. You already know where to find it at. So there's this German vlogger that just basically blew his whole life up for some fucking views. In my opinion, right? Motherfuckers would do anything for views, in my opinion. Now... I'm not familiar with this channel, and many of us are not familiar with this channel, probably until this particular story broke. But apparently there's this uh, German vlogger, YouTuber, that's out of Mutton Lupa, I believe that's how you pronounce it, in the Philippines. And apparently he got in trouble for dealing with some underage females, right? So the video that was basically put on his own YouTube channel didn't really reveal the girl's face, of course, nothing like that. Um, but basically in the video, it shows him interacting with this young lady that was supposed to be aged 18, comes out, baby girl, 17, right? So apparently this was a video prank where he takes this young lady to a hotel room. They get a little frisky, get a little naked in it, not really all the way, but you know, he takes his shirt off and all that stuff. He tells you it's a prank, ha ha, he he, whatever. But apparently when the cameras turn off, Shit gets real because the girl reports, the 17 year old reports that this particular guy forced himself onto her. And you guys can read between the lines of what happened next. She goes home, she tells her mom, they go to the um, child protective, whatever place in the Philippines and Mutton Lupa. Um, they report his ass, and now this is where we are in the story right now. He's been arrested. Um, they're asking for him to be persona non grata, which means, but it was weird though. Cause when I read the article, it will be in the description area below. When I read the article, it said, we want him to be persona non grata only in this particular city, or he's not allowed to come to the city. So that means he can pretty much go to any other city in the Philippines and do the same shit. I mean, you should say for the entire country, you know, for that fact, because you guys felt that he was promoting prostitution and promoting dealing with underage girls. And, you know, he's in the video giving this girl a thousand pesos and people were calling it poverty porn. Where in you acting like you're doing good for somebody just for some fucking clicks and views. And, you know, it goes all over the board. People were furious, more specifically Filipinos, as you would rightfully be. I think that if I was there, I would be a little bit in my feelings as well, because at the end of the day, Fam was doing some shit on the actual video, if you guys haven't seen the video. I'm sure you have by now, but if you haven't, I'll find it and I'll link it in the description area below as well. It's 18 fucking minutes. I'm not about to watch it. I didn't even review it. I got through the first few minutes of it and I was like, yeah, let me just skim through this and see what we what the conclusion is. But that particular video that's going to be linked in the description or the one that you already saw with him inter interacting with this particular young lady basically shows him offering her a thousand pesos. For some fun time, right? And, you know, it's it's not always the best of looks, right? Here's the, here's the deal, right? And I'm going to tell you the truth. This is the truth and the truth shall set us all free. Everybody knows prostitution exists in the Philippines, right? You would be a dumbass, with all due respect, to believe that there aren't women in this particular country that are out there allowing themselves to use their bodies to make money. That happens all over the fucking world. Now, it only becomes a problem when people try to exploit that shit or when people put it in videos and when it's purposefully put out in a way to make the people look bad, right? It only becomes a problem when a person exchanges their body there, you know, for monetary gain. It only becomes a problem when you try to make a buck off of it or when you try to put it out there for the people to see, oh, come to the Philippines and you can get you a prostitute like this or you can get a girl naked in and she can do all this fun stuff for you for a thousand pesos. That, my friends, is when it becomes an issue for everybody else, right? When you try to exploit the shit, when you try to make a buck off of, the, off of it. And when I say motherfuckers do anything for views, I mean it. People will do anything for views. 
everybody and their mama already knows. You put a beautiful young lady in your YouTube video and you show yourself walking around with this beautiful young lady, likely, high percentage chance, you're going to get a lot of people to click on it, right? They're going to ask questions about her and all that stuff. That's pretty much what it is. It's not so much clickbait as it is, I call it video bait, because if you use her throughout the entire video and she badass, people going to stay watching because they just want to see her ass. They ain't worried about you. So you have guys that will use women in their videos, and it's cool. But to what? To at what extent and to whose expense, right? To what extent and at whose expense? Now, if you're going to sit there and put a girl in your video and purposefully show that you only gave her $1,000 and this girl is going to offer you some sexual favors without saying it in a video, that's still a bad look, even if she was 18 years or older, right? It's still a bad look. Filipinos don't like to see that shit and they're going to feel that way and they have every right to feel that way. Right. Again, we all know that stuff exists all over the world. But when you put it front and center for people to see and it's really coming off like Filipinas to an extent are just sleazy and easy money and stuff like that. Nobody's going to be OK with that. Myself included. Right. What you do off camera behind the scenes on the hush hush on the low low. That's completely different than when you broadcast it for everybody in the world to see. That's where I'm going at when I say anybody will do anything for views. Now you're really fucked up because come to find out the girl is only 17 years of age, sir. Guess what? Now that makes it 10 times worse, right? Now you're on everybody's radar, right? Now everybody's furious with you. Not as if it was just a regular young lady of age that you were dealing with. Now it's a child, for lack of a better term. She only one age, I mean, one year away from being 18. But still, people are going to consider that to be a child. Now that puts you in a, in a tier a predatory pedophilia type shit, right? And that's not a good look. That makes it 10 times, if not 20, 30, 50 times worse. Because now everybody going to look at you away, right? And you may defend yourself saying, well... You know, in the Philippines, you know, they can marry or be in relationships at 12 years old. I've had people say that shit to me and try to defend that shit. I'm like, bro, just don't don't make that argument to me because regardless of how you slice it, the majority of people still going to look at it like, bro, you want you want some you want some really fucked up shit. Right. Regardless of how you slice it. Right. But the fact is now that you've gone through the situation, now you're going through it, I can almost guarantee you don't fuck yourself in the ass because if your YouTube channel was what was getting you views, I mean, <laughs> you know, if that was your, what I would like to call your main source of income, right? For lack of a better term, now you're in trouble, right? Because first of all, if YouTube catches wind of it, they just go ahead and delete your entire channel. And you're going to try to start all over? I think that particular video got like 10 million views. Probably from the time that I saw it and from the time it was purported, it was already at like 10 million views. I'm sure now it's probably way more. After everybody and a lot more people have uh, caught wind of it, it's probably way more now. But in reality... As a vlogger, me being the type of guy that when I go to the Philippines, I like to film. Um, I like to make videos for you guys on YouTube and shit like that. From a vlogger perspective, to what extent can you take it before shit like this happens, right? I think that the majority of gentlemen who choose to partake in said activity, a.k.a. paying a young lady for some sexy time or putting that type of content out... They know the boundaries they shouldn't cross, right? And even though he may not have known the age of the young lady, there are certain things and certain parts of videos and certain things that you should not do in videos when you're covering those particular types or that particular type of content, right? So at this point, my man, you done effed yourself in the ass, okay? Ain't nobody going to really want to rock with you, even if you were doing it by yourself before. And now, all of a sudden, any video that you do put out is going to be met with so much negativity. It's going to be ridiculous. That is if you're even allowed to continue making videos for YouTube. Right? And again, the crazy part about it is nobody gives a fuck until you put it in their faces and say, this is what's going on. Now it's a problem. I'm telling you the truth. Nobody probably would have gave two shits to the damn if you were dealing with a young lady hopefully of 18, even though she said she was 18, hopefully of age. If you were dealing with a young lady of age and you kind of exchanged whatever it is that you exchanged and that was just on the low low and it wasn't put out there in front street, nobody would have cared because nobody else would have known. But now you're trying to make a business out of it and like they call it poverty porn where you're acting like you're doing a good service for people who are um, in dire straits or looking to be able to afford things for the children or whatever the fuck. Now that they're going through it, 
know what I'm saying, you act like you helping them just to get views and you're probably gonna probably get or make more money off of the video that you put out there of you helping people than you actually gave that person, right? So that thousand peso video that you gave that particular young lady, you probably make in peso form, probably a hundred dollars off of that. 10 million views, you probably, oh my God, that's a lot of thousands of dollars. If you're getting the views from, uh, you know, foreign countries outside of the Philippines, you made thousands of dollars on that one video and you gave her a little thousand pesos, right? So you see how A, it didn't correlate monetarily wise and why people call it poverty porn because whatever little bit you give in the video, you're making 20 times, 30 times, 100 times that, you know, through the views that you get on it. So that pisses people off. Not to mention that it's making them look bad. Nobody likes to look bad, especially Filipinos. There's just such thing as saving face, which is a real thing, wherein they will defend themselves and they have every right to do so because this is all wrong. I'm not saying there was nothing right about this video. I'm just saying in general, when you do that and you start to manipulate and expose and exploit and do that shit on camera, it becomes a very big problem for the people. Then everybody got to get involved. We're talking about the mayor of the area, you know, people in offices and uh, Martin Lupa, um, you know, people out there. Not everybody on your ass, right? It'd be different if you would have just kept that shit behind the scenes, didn't put out a video about it. You would have been perfectly fine. But what do you do, young man? You got to make a whole thing out of it, a whole spectacle. And, you know, now people are probably looking for that head, right? They're looking to get, they, they looking to come for your head, son. And... It could have all been avoided, right? You think that you're doing it for fun and it's going to be this, it's going to be that. And it's all fun and games, ladies and gentlemen, until you find out that young lady is not of age. Then that shit becomes really real, really fast, right? Because probably nobody would have cared if she was actually 18. They probably would have just had their little comments. Oh, look at you. You exploiting this, that, and the other. But they wouldn't have much to say. But now you gave them all the ammunition they need to come for that neck, sir. And there's nobody that's going to stand behind you on that shit, fam. Ain't nobody going to rock with you. I don't know if you did any uh, collaborations in the past, but I'm pretty sure if they haven't already made videos denouncing that they fucks with you, those videos are coming soon. <laughs> because at the end of the day, nobody wants to be associated with that type of activity because it seems to have a trickle-down effect into the negativity of your particular channel as well. Uh, I'm sorry, their particular channel as well. So what can we learn from this gentleman? Be careful the type of content you choose to put out. If it becomes borderline racy, not racist, but racy, R-A-C-Y, wherein it becomes, you know, heavily sexual in nature and you're flirting along the lines of really exposing some deep, dark secrets behind the scenes type shit that really isn't something that's somebody else's business, guess what's going to happen? You're going to find yourself in situations like this particular gentleman right here. And you in jail, big dog. You know what I'm saying? They done locked your ass up, right? Got you standing there with the little fucking picture and shit. Oh, bruh, it's, it's almost close to a wrap. I don't know if you could pay your way out of this one, sir. You might be able to. You might be able to, but I don't think you're going to pay yourself out of this one, man. Or pay your way out of this one. So, unfortunately, this dusty motherfucker just set himself up for failure. And for me, I can't help you. So I mean, there's nothing that anybody could do for you, right? Because you can't. they can't defend the act. They just can't. So rather than me try to talk down on you, I'm pretty sure you're getting a lot of that right now. Let me offer some words of encouragement. If you do find a way out of this, not seeing that happening. But if you do find a way out of this, you got to change your ways, pimp. You got to change the type of content you choose to put out there. Because, again, any racy, borderline, you know, in any country that is not your own, of course, um, you know, it could always be perceived differently by different people and everybody's going to feel a way about it. They're going to have their opinions and feelings about it. Right. So what can you really do? Right. What can you really do? I doubt you'll be able to get out of, away from it because people will always be reminded that you were the dude in the video that dealt with uh, underage girls, blah, blah, blah. Come on now. It's sensational. It's a, the fucking sensational story. Right. But here's the cold part. And I'm going to say this because I don't if you haven't said it, I'm going to say it. Uh, and I know it's coming at the end of this video. And, and anybody who stopped this video short will probably not hear me say this. But that's why I waited until the end to see how many of y'all rock with the good doc. You know what? She could have lied too. the young lady could have lied on this man. So before we jump and crucify him, I want to make sure that it's true. Because she could have lied. 
She could have said, oh, he came on to me, probably in an effort to exploit him. Now, rightfully so, he put the video out first. That's on him. Her face wasn't in it, of course. You know, he, he protected the privacy of the individual. But in reality, she could have said, oh, he touched me, did all this stuff to me. And it could all be not true. Now, I'm not saying the girl's lying. I'm not. I'm not saying she's lying. I mean, to an extent, I guess, you know, you got to think about what would be the reasons why she would lie. Like, what are their legit reasons for money? If that was the case, she would have went to the guy and said, look, I'm going to the police. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that if you don't pay me. But now the story is all over the news. So she couldn't get paid, even if she wanted to, to make this go away. If you think about it, she couldn't even be paid to make this go away because now it's not going away because I've seen it. All my boys on YouTube have seen it. Everybody's probably reacted to it by now. So what? Right? So what? Now we're in a place in a space where now we got to figure out what's really going on. Right? We got to dissect it. We got to figure it out. Right? So that's my effort, time, energy, y'all. I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys got to say, man. It's been a good doc. Damn. <laughs> what a day. Um, y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed. And let me know in the comment section what you think. Let's try to keep it clean. I understand that a lot of you guys may be in your feelings if you got daughters or something like that. That type of shit enrages you. You know, but let's keep it chill. Let's make sure that we get all the information before we crucify this gentleman. Like I said, I gave y'all how people would feel, but then I gave you the alternative. Let's let's uh, let's be devil's advocate and let's say maybe she wasn't telling the truth. Now I must now again. This is just his word against hers. I mean, the video was very very um, not good for him, right? If video is used as evidence, you know we already know now that. They went to a place, they went to a place, they went to a, I'm sorry, they went to a place to be alone and all of that stuff. So that's not really a good look at all. Because when there's nobody around but the little camera that you have, chances are, it's hard to believe that she did lie, but what if she did? That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. What if she did lie, though? Now you've ruined this man's everything. He didn't really have a reputation, and if he did, it probably wasn't the best one considering the type of content you put out. But it's all going for him now, right? All because of what a lady had to say about an interaction that may or may not happen. May or may not have happened. Again, I'm not saying that it didn't. Doc's just playing devil's advocate. I like to look at it from both perspectives. I'm not sure if any statement has been made by this particular guy. I do believe that the only thing that has been said on his end, as far as I know, in reference to the article was he believed that she was 18. That was pretty much the only thing that I can remember him saying. If you guys have more information, I'm sure it's going to unroll as, you know, the videos come out or more content comes out every day. So I'm just covering it from where I'm at. All right, man, I'm going to let y'all rock, man. This has been a good doc. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.